Oh, hello again. We've just stepped out of the lab just while we warm it up to 25 degrees C. That's the exact temperature for all our lab work, really. 100 gram lots, small amounts of resin. That's just around that size, and you'll get, at the right temperature, you'll get a beautiful glossy surface like that. Now, I just want to talk about, you don't have to work in lab situations where, where it's exactly 25 degrees C. No, you can have a broader range of, with success and get good solid solutions out of your moulds, etc. Start at around 20 degrees as your lower temperature. This is the more critical. The lower you go, the less likely it'll cure. So start at 20. And I'd say go to about 35. Beyond that, you're really starting to get um, very short working time with your material. So for a general rule, up to 35 degrees. Now, we, we cover this on our label on the temperature range. And another thing we say is keep it at those temperatures for a whole 24 hours. So if you start the job at 10 in the morning, it's got to be at that temperature till 10 the next morning. So you might be tucked up in bed and warm at 2 a.m., but that's when the temperature could come down to 15 degrees or so in the um, workshop or in the factory. So we've got to come up with a way to keep it warm for the whole 24 hours. We'll go into that a little later, but if it's just in the house, how do you keep something small warm? It's simple. If they're very small items, just put them under a lamp. And if you want a bigger area, even just put a big box over that lamp and it'll be quite a warm zone for that material to cure in. Okay, now if you don't do what we're saying here and you have that temperature drop, drop you will end up pretty London to a brick. You'll get stickiness and it, it translates to this type of thing and there really, it really isn't any easy way around that. So um, it's very important that that whole 24 hours be in that temperature range. Well, all that's okay for small objects, but we often get asked how do we sort out uh, getting a, a hot environment for a big object? Well, we'll show you over here. Right, here we've got a setup for a large object that we want to dry. And this is just our contrivance using household objects. If you're in a factory, you could use different materials, but principally, it's all about setting something up and getting a tent structure over it. Now, what we've done here is just use some pieces of pine. They could be garden stakes, but we're doing resin art. So I use pine because it doesn't have splinters that could drop off. This is a common setup for drying your uh, resin art, uh, making sure it never drops below 20 degrees overnight. So it's as simple as setting up like that. And then we have, around here, we have a heater, which is one of those closed circuit oil types. Rather than using a blow heater, this is a, a very safe system. And you're not using a great deal of power overnight, because you're going to have to leave this on for 24 hours. Now, the next step is to put a tarp over this to entrap the air. Now we've picked up one at the hardware store that will cover this. It's about three and a half metres by three. We'll end up with about uh, 10 to 20 mil off the ground, and that's ample uh, for air, any airflow, but it's to hold the air in. That's the principal thing. And hence, we've lifted this artwork well up in here. Whatever you're drying, try and get it high towards the top so it's getting the, the most of the heat. OK, that's the first step. The next step is to put the tarp on the top. Well, so you can see, we've got ourselves a really good hot box. Well, that wraps it up for this painting, and it wraps up for me till next time. Catch you soon.